Parents of the Purdue University student who was stabbed to death are now speaking out about that tragedy and their grief and how they want to honor their son. His roommate currently charged with his murder, ABC's Eva Pilgrim, with their exclusive interview. I never believe it in a million years. I mean, I would believe that, you know, there could be a fire or there could be an earthquake or there could be a car wreck or any other kind of, you know, accident that could happen. But yeah, never never something like this. This morning in an ABC News exclusive, the parents of Varun Chetta speaking out for the first time since their son was murdered, allegedly by his roommate in his Purdue University dorm room. I miss him terribly because he was my son, because he was my friend. His mother, Seema, saying everything seemed normal that morning in early October when she drove him back to West Lafayette after a long weekend at home with his family. She texted with him before she went to bed that night. He had texted me, good night, Mama, at 11.45. But minutes after Varun sent that text, tragedy. I have a second call. I believe this will be legit. One roommate has attacked another with a knife. Shortly after midnight, police responded to a 911 call at his door, finding the 20 year old data science major stabbed multiple times. How did you guys find out what happened? It was uh, like Wednesday morning, like very early. Now, new details emerging about that night. Police confirming Varum was gaming online with friends when they say his roommate, 22 year old Jimin Sa from South Korea, attacked him. Sa calling 911 himself. He's now been charged with murder. Neither one of them were asleep and I believe this was unprovoked and senseless. Varun's parents telling me Sa was a new roommate. Varun started the semester living alone. Sa moving in later. Was there any sense that there were problems with his roommate? No. You never even hardly ever talked about him. You know, at all. I mean, he started the semester as being the single person in that room. He was alone when we dropped him off. It was just him in that room. Yeah, there was someone else that was signed up to be there, and that person didn't end up showing up. Purdue saying they can't confirm those details. Meanwhile, Varun's family now waiting for more answers, grateful for the outpouring of love for their son as they try to grieve. What do you think you'll miss the most? His laugh, his, uh, <laughs> his brilliance. His parents saying they want to honor their son by living as he did, with compassion, kindness, and a curiosity for life. In the time that he had, he, you know, touched a lot of people. Uh, in a positive way.